Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and it's cast time once again, so, oh, excuse me, so I'm gonna get into the, let me, uh, get into the music here, babble, 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 uh, this is gonna be Hattis, their Starlet album, and this is more, uh, more dungeon synth, okay, I guess technically it isn't, atmospheric, ambient, fantasy synth, okay, but, uh, this, this one here, um, I think it came out, I think it came out just yesterday. Let me get a confirmation on that. Yeah, came out just yesterday. Um, so, brand spanking new. And um, this one here came out in, of all places, Antarctica. I'm like, yeah, from, uh, yeah, from the South Pole. Holy shit. shit, shit. Yeah, last place I'd expect uh, someone to do a Dungeon Sins album. I mean, I, I mean, I thought, I thought, uh, uh, when I said the same thing yesterday, I thought, I mean, I thought Brazil was like a, a far-flung place to be doing dungeon synth, but no, no, like I said, this, this came from the South Pole, Antarctica. I think, I, I think that's what, uh, there's, uh, Arctica, Arctica is the North Pole, Antarctica, I think is the South Pole, if I'm guessing right, so, so yeah, big surprise there. Uh, let's just go ahead and get this baby fired up and, and and whoops I forgot to sound test it so checking that right now okay maybe a little bit all right I'm gonna say close it up on that um, but otherwise, fairly busy night and morning. Just, I spent at least half the night just, uh, uploading videos. Um, just, uh, I think I made another, I think I made another, uh, Gems of War video. Uh, for, uh, about my new, uh, about, uh what's the name of the class? Oh, Sunspear, yeah. Um, made a, again, a guy named DJ Screw. One of my regulars, uh, one of my stream regulars, he turned me on to that class. Um, it's and it's a good and it's a good fit for my uh, it's a good fit for my current team. I, uh, you know what? Let me. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take way way too long to pull up my pull up my group. So, but anyway, um, but yeah, that that took. That, that took a while. I'm uploading to YouTube and Twitch. Uh, YouTube, they're still doing the checks on it. No, wait, 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 wait. No, yeah, they're both uploaded on uh, Twitch and YouTube. So, so got that, got those taken care of. And, um, let's see what else was there. Oh, and, um, then, at, then sometime after that, I went ahead and um, I went ahead and did my pinball session, and um, it actually went pretty good. Or pinball FX3, I wasn't on that very long, <clears throat> just long enough to do the the four matchup tables. Uh, it's it's a kind of tournament format where you're not trying to beat a high score. You're trying to beat um, your selected opponent's high score. So it, in that in that context, it kind of works the way P. It kind of works the way PvP works in Gems of War. You have a choice between three opponents, easy, medium, and hard. You just, you pick one and try to beat them. And if you do, you get extra PvP points, that kind of thing. Uh, Pinball FX3 works that way, works that same way. Three opponents to choose from. Uh, pick one and try to beat them. So, but um, I just did that. Uh, just enough to, just enough to get out of the red, to, because if you, uh, if your ranking is too low, you'll get sent down to a lower tier, so, but like I said, I, I played enough to get myself out of the red, so, to where at least maintain my position, and then, um, I did like a, like a couple, two, three tournaments in that, in that, um, did okay in that, but like I said, I think I only played, 
No, I think I actually did play about a half hour. About a half an hour, and then switched over to Pinball Arcade, where, uh, where, oh my god, I was freaking awesome. I mean, white wa uh, a table called Whitewater. I was phenomenal on. I mean, I didn't beat my previous high score, but I, no, I think I got, I got about halfway there, like one billion points. Um, I think, it did. The game doesn't have, I don't, the game doesn't technically have a wizard mode. It just has like four or five different objectives that you have to meet. And then when you do, you'll get awarded 100 million points, which I got that. Got all the achievements and then um, the whole pro the whole process just started over. But yeah, I, I did good on that table. There was uh, one or two other tables I played. I didn't last very long on them. But uh, I, I didn't do horrible. Oh, 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 what was it? Not Nightmare on Elm Street. Phantom of the Opera. I know it, Phantom of the Opera is one of them. I actually did pretty good on it. Uh, but again, I didn't beat my high score. But I was pretty competent on it. Didn't make any stupid mistakes or anything like that. Or any, any super bad shots. So. And then um, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Uh, considered by many to be one of the hardest tables ever, but I actually did, again, I, I didn't do great, but I, I was holding my own. I, um, the goal on Bram Stoker's Dracula, here, let me, let me do something. It just wouldn't be right if I didn't do this. Alright, maybe not. Paralyzed by options. This this came this came out all wrong, so yeah, I'm gonna have to work on this uh when I get done with this cast. But I'll just put it there. But anyway, yeah, uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. One of the hardest tables there, or one of the hardest tables out there. I was actually doing pretty good. The goal of a table is uh, you have to have three multi-balls going at the same time. And that's when you can really rack up a big score. Um, I got pretty close. Uh, I had two multi-balls going. But all of a sudden, my pinball skills decided to just up and leave me. I mean, just couldn't hit anything, kept flubbing my shots. Um... And uh, the few multi-balls that I was actually able to get going after the two-ball multi-ball would end as quickly as it began. So, it's just, like I said, all of a sudden, everything just went, everything just went south. So, but yeah, it, but yeah, I ended up, I ended up coming, I ended up becoming super frustrated towards the end and just, I just ended up, the session just ended up really abruptly. Um, so yeah, it, yeah, I ended up having to cut it short. Um, but, but otherwise, um, one other thing I did too is, uh, you know, while, while waiting for my videos to upload, um, another, um, another channel came up on, uh, on my YouTube recommendations called Tier Zoo. I absolutely love this channel. Um, it's, they do, uh, they do nature shows, uh, they, you know, nature videos. I think they, uh, 
they do stuff about humanity or humanism, like human evolution and whatnot. They, they do that, but they do this from a gamer's point of view. You know, they're... You know, they're... Oh, what was it? You know, ki you know Kiwis don't have the flight ability, and, you know, and they have... You know, and Kiwi bird, you know, like... Kiwi birds haven't used all their ability points, so they're at the bottom of the pecking water, you know, that kind of thing. But it, it's it's really funny as it's real funny as hell the way they do this. It's like like again, it's from a gamer's point of view. Now, I'm gonna take a drink here real quick. Oh, I'm and forgot to say this at the start of the cast, but I'm having a I'm having a Arizona green tea. Sugar free. But yeah, but I've been uh, I've just been uh, just been watching. I'm on my um, I just got there watching two of the videos. But when I get done with this cast, I'm gonna keep watching more. Oh, that was it. I also forgot to mention this as well. One of my um, my pinball video. I did try to upload it to YouTube, but even as we speak, it's still checking. It's still checking for copyrighted stuff. So. What might end up happening is I might end up having to just abandon it entirely. So. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, too, that um, for what it's worth, throughout all this time that I'm uploading these videos, I can't do much else. Because uh, uploading the uh, uploading them, it uses up a fair amount of, uh, of my uh, my resources. The resources on my computer. So, you know, even, when, even when playing Gems of War, even that game, even it lags. Despite the fact that it's not a very graphics intensive game, it'll still lag. Like when a match is over, I gotta sit here and wait five to ten seconds for for it to actually transition over into the next screen. So yeah. So definitely did a fair amount of spinning my wheels this time around. I think there was something else I was wanting to say too. Yeah, I didn't, and um, I didn't really uh, jot down any notes or anything like that. And um, it just more and more I've been starting to do I've been starting to do this kind of thing less and less. Like I used to use the uh, on my OBS program. I used to I used on the uh, the sources column. I used to use that as my own little notepad writing the notes down there since I'm currently looking at I'm looking at my OBS program right now as we speak or I should say as I speak um, but I I would uh, jot down some notes just to little reminders and stuff but again it, I'm getting to where that I don't even do that at all now probably becoming like that like that guy on the movie The Longest Yard. Jocks are for sissies. I'm I'm guessing I'm becoming more and more like that now. And uh and also something else I noticed that I've been doing too. Okay. I figured since I'm talking about uh since I'm talking about how I how I'm doing this now, I figured I might as well switch might as well go to that screen. But yeah, it But yeah, like I said, um I've been I've been um, doing less and less preparation when doing these casts now. Just set up some images and whatnot, and then just totally wing it from there. I hardly ever write any reminders now these days. And something else too that I started recently. Normally, I would do these around 4 a.m. I've been starting to do them like an hour earlier now, like 3 a.m. And in in this way here, it's a little bit safer. So. If something does happen where uh, I'll upload this to YouTube and it gets flagged for copyright, you know, or I'll at least, you know, you know it, it basically in case of mishap, you know, because I usually, uh, usually when I upload these, and that's something else too, um, when I upload videos, I mean, I upload them to Twitch and YouTube, but I can't do both at once. Yeah, I've tried that before. My computer literally grinds to a halt. I can't. I can do nothing else because that's the computer is doing double work. So I can only do one at a time. 
So usually from my when I'm uploading when I'm uploading cast to YouTube. Um or I'll start with YouTube first, mostly because that's the music um it uploads faster than it does on Twitch. That's one and uh two. Um most of my most of my audience I get more of my views from YouTube than I do on Twitch. So I you so I mean I don't I don't really want to give out the give out numbers or anything like that, but yeah, I'll just say that uh I get more views on uh, YouTube than I do on Twitch, so it's my bigger priority. I'll blow it to there first. And especially considering the music that I'm playing, like usually dungeon synth and like really obscure stuff, it's much less likely to get uh, copyright claimed. So, but yeah, but again, um, doing them early, doing them earlier, it just, you know, it gives me more time to fix any mistakes that I might have made, you know, stuff like that. So, and then it also, it also comes in handy too, like if I decide to, if I do, if I decide to do an actual nature walk video or something like that, something that's gonna, that's gonna have a huge file size, doing it an hour early will, will give me a, It'll give me more time to get it uploaded because uh, videos that have uh, large file sizes take a lot longer to upload. So, so yeah, there, there seems to be a paradigm shift in the way I'm doing this. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and call it good. I pretty much said all the things that I wanted to say this morning. So, and this will be my last cast for the week. Because uh, um, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'll be working. So you won't be seeing me again until... Or, or, let me rephrase that. You won't be hearing from me again until Sunday morning. So, But otherwise, hey, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And, um, and I guess I'll see you guys on Sunday morning. Bye now.